Scene one, take two. Although there is no acknowledgement of their existence in our world, I can most emphatically attest to their presence. For lack of an adequate nomenclature, I shall refer to them as night travelers, although by no means do I associate them with larcenous jip tribes, General Lee's horse. I call them travelers only because they share two notable characteristics, the first being the very ancient, if not primordial, origins impossible for our natural world to gauge. The second is their penchant for secrecy, which shrouds every aspect of their true nature. All understanding of their surreptitious industry is denied to us, and is simply a matter of conjecture. Scene two, take one. But uh, the primary and absolutely essential difference separates them from humanity is that their longevity is uh, Methuselah, if not infinite, and entirely dependent on a nocturnal existence. What information I can contribute to this narrative is from my own observations, from those rare occasions I have passed them in the hotels where I have stayed the past 35 or so years. I've come to the conclusion, in fact, that all the best hotels have had traveler visitation. They register in the evening, having arrived on late night trains, and usually attend all the social functions with little fanfare. Their manners are impeccable at the dinner table and in the gaming rooms, and they pay their bills promptly, leaving all business transaction with excellent reference. All this has led me to admire them greatly, <laughs> regardless of the sporadic excesses. In any event, I've come to observe that there is a uh, violence tied to their instinct. Mind you, it's intermittent, very discreet, but also very carnal. There have been incidents. People have disappeared. And oh, there's never been any evidence that the authorities point to, but I've seen the links. There is some sort of transformation. I wasn't sure of this up until now, because I had not seen one of them while they were still part of our natural world. But this is what happened to Emily. Her absolute fashionability seemed to conceal an unmistakably feral presence. As she approached me, her eyes locked onto me with a scrutiny so intense that they, they seemed to poach the core of my soul. I couldn't imagine that if the layers of cosmetic paint were stripped away and her hotel uniform replaced those magnificent clothes, that her mortal soul would be restored. She had departed far beyond such things. Mr. Richardson, are you saying that she was a vampire? Oh, no, 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 don't call her that. Don't use that word. Never describe it in those terms. If you do, they'll clap you in the booby hatch and you'll never get decent service at a restaurant. I call them travelers. But the worst thing is to be beloved of a traveler. Acquaintance with them once a decade is fascinating, uh, invigorating in brief moments, almost like uh, having dinner with a gangster or walking away from a train wreck. But love sentiments something quite different and all the more dangerous you might as well try to take home a leopard and make them a faithful companion it would indeed be quite lethal